Welcome back, Tech fans. I'm Casey Montoya. In today's edition of DT Daily, Research in Motion launches its 4G LTE BlackBerry Playbook tablet. Fake Facebook users are more numerous than you might think. New iPhone 5 rumors surface. AT&T expands its spectrum. And a tiny camera reveals a new bird behavior. After more than a year on the market, Research in Motion's BlackBerry Playbook tablet is getting an update. On August 9th, RIM will release a new version of the tablet with 4G LTE connectivity, allowing users to connect up to high-speed data networks and check their email, download their apps, and use the web. The new tablet will launch on all three wireless carriers in Canada first, but RIM expects the U.S. to release it in the coming months. Facebook's SEC filing for the last quarter has been published online, and CNET has discovered some interesting news. According to the filing, about 8.7 percent, or 83 million, of Facebook's users are not real people. Breaking down the numbers, about 4.8 percent of Facebook users are actually duplicate accounts, 2.4 percent are misclassified businesses or other entities that aren't actually people like a family dog, and 1.5 percent are spammers who create accounts for malicious purposes. Facebook's total number of users now tops 955 million. With the release of Apple's next iPhone fast approaching, rumors are pouring out of the woodwork. New reports indicate that the so-called iPhone 5 will have a smaller 8-pin connector, which users can plug in more easily. In addition, the new iOS 6 operating system will allegedly support Bluetooth 4.0. That would allow the next iPhone to better connect to the new iPad and Mac PCs. Finally, the president of Sharp told reporters the company will begin shipping screens for the new iPhone this month, further supporting rumors the device will land in consumers' hands sometime this September. The race for wireless spectrum is literally something that goes over most people's heads, but the largest carriers in the U.S. are battling to buy up bands of wireless space for their new 4G LTE networks. After failing to purchase T-Mobile USA last year, AT&T today agreed to buy NextWave Wireless for $600 million, mainly to get a hold of its unused spectrum. NextWave hasn't been able to use its wireless airspace yet. The FCC believes it might interfere with satellite radio frequencies, but AT&T has covered that base, too. It's filed a joint proposal with Sirius XM, which outlines a plan to prevent the spectrum from interfering. If the sale goes through, AT&T users may see a boost in their coverage, but not for a while. It could take at least three years before the spectrum could be used. Researchers from the Wildlife Conservation Society recently strapped a tiny remote camera to the back of an imperial cormorant seagull, which allowed them to witness an amazing sight, a stunning 150-foot dive underwater off the coast of Patagonia. The seagull can be seen pumping its wings to swim deep in the water. Once it reaches the bottom, the bird swims along the sea floor where it catches fish. The behavior has never been witnessed before, and the 80-second dive far outlasts the 70-second duration, which scientists previously believed was the longest birds could stay underwater. That's it for today. If you're a PC gamer but feel stuck on a desktop, check back with Digital Trends later today for our review of the Alienware M14X, a sleek mid-size gaming laptop that lets you bring your games wherever you go.